Yes, I'm Ken Burkholder from Boise, Idaho, and I'm going to be tying a bear hair golden trude. And we're starting off with an amber Pearsall's gossamer silk thread, and I'm going to make a thread base. I'm going to start just a little forward of the halfway mark and wind my way back to the barb of the hook. Now I'm going to make a body out of moose, moose hair. And this will make the body as well as the tail. So I'm going to cut off a clump of this, like so. Clean it up a little bit, take all the fuzz out of it. And then we'll put it in the stacker and stack all the ends straight. So I'm going to gauge this, the length of this, just about a width, width of the gap of the hook to the shank past the bend of the hook. And that's how far my tail is going to be. So I'm going to cut this off before I tie it on. And I'm going to make sure I bind this on directly on top of the hook. This is really important. If I don't, It'll get slipped around the hook and it won't be square. I'm going to tie this first. And I'm going to advance my thread to the barb of the hook, which I have pinched. So I invert this and I note I can make sure that everything is square on the hook. Okay, now with a little super glue out of this super glue brush, which is a handy thing to have, I'm going to brush this on the bottom. And now I will wrap some more thread on here. And this will keep it in place, it won't ever twist. And it will make a very durable body which we like. And it has a nice, nice fat look to it. It has a good profile. Now over this body, I will use some silk floss. And this is peach silk floss. It's Japanese silk floss from Alec Jackson. And this makes a real lovely colored golden stone body. I'm going to start initially by binding this on top. And I'm going to add my ribbing material, which is brown Pearsall's Gossamer Silk Thread. So I'm using silk all over here. I'm going to tie this on right now. And I'll just go back to the end of the thread. Okay, now with the silk floss, I'm going to I'm going to just wrap it around the body. So, I'm 
and then I'll wrap the rib around it. Golden stoneflies are among the most beautiful stoneflies there are. They're very colorful and they take on many different shades of color from dark brown to amber to golden and they're very detailed. They have distinct ribbings on their abdomen. Their thorax is very colorful. Their heads are broad. And we're trying to get a profile here of a golden stone that trout really think is real. And this pattern works very well for that. The other thing I like about this pattern is that it has no foam and it has no rubber, which is a rare commodity these days, I think, especially for fishing large stoneflies. Okay, now once I've come to this point, I will take my super glue and I will coat the, the entire body that I've made with super glue. Now watch how this material will change color. It will darken and this, all this silk thread will bleed together. And it makes for a very interesting texture. See how much darker it is now than it was? And that will be permanent like that with the glue on there. I'm going to let this dry for a second. While it's doing that, I can add my first bit of dubbing. And what this is, is um, light olive wool dubbing from Spirit River, easily, to, easily dubbed, nice material. And I'm just going to work this dubbing just in front of this body that I have made. Now here comes the wing. What this is, is this is, this is grizzly bear hair from Alaska. And I purchased this hair from an, from an auction in 2002. And it's a, very, it's a very lovely natural material. It has a lot of sheen. It's very shiny. It's almost like a synthetic, but it is not. It has a lot of, a, a lot of air trapping qualities. It's very kinky. If you see, the, see how kinky this is, it's not straight at all. And when I take the guard hairs out, these long hairs out, out of the way, I have a nice wing material that I can, I can trim with the scissors after I've put it on. And boy, does it float. It floats great. It's a great floating material. I trim this off first rather than later. Trim even the butts of the material. And now I will start binding this on. Now I want this wing to be enveloped around the body about 180 degrees and in order for me to accomplish that and keep it fixed, what I will do is I will put a little pressure with my thumbnail and flatten this wing out. And then by adding a drop of super glue, I can fix it in place by dropping the glue and advancing the thread. And now I can make this wing 180 degrees around the body. 
It's a nice flat wing, and that's what we're looking for. Fluttering golden stoneflies aren't the big snack. They, when they get on the water, they're trapped, and their wings lay flat. They cannot fly off the water once they're on it. So I want a nice flat wing. And that's what this bear hair will give us. And then you can trim this to shape. Nice shape. Next is the hackle. And this is a, a, a barred ginger hackle. And I'm just going to select a hackle from this. I'll just take a little bit of the fuzzy stuff off. Tie this on. And trim it. Put a little more dubbing on here. And then I'm going to leave all oh, about an eighth of an inch of space between the front, the back of the eye down the shank, because I'm going to complete a head this way. So I'll simply wrap my hackle through here. I'm going to tie the tip off and reinforce the hackle with my thread. This way it won't ever come apart. Now I continue winding my hackle, just like a dry fly hackle, standard dry fly hackle. Now I'm going to preen back this hackle and I'm going to wind my thread on top, on top of this hackle to form my head. So it's kind of like a, dry, a wet fly style that I'm doing. But this way I'm going to create a good head and then with this hackle formed like this it will twitch very easily on the water. It's effective. I can flatten this hackle out a little bit, kind of make an outrigger effect. And then just to give a little detail to the head, I'm just going to mark it with a sharpie, the thread a little bit with a sharpie. and wind it back towards the hackle, just for a little detail. I'm going to whip finish this. Glue it. And the fly is complete.